At Space Launch Complex 37, a Delta IV rocket is fueled and ready to launch, the second next-generation GPS-3 satellite for the United States Air Force Space and Missile System Center. T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the GPS-3 Magellan mission for the United States Air Force Space and Missile System Center. Body rate response looks good. Now 15 seconds into flight. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle Main engine chamber pressure data. looks good. Seeing good chamber pressure across both SRMs. 25 seconds into flight. Continuing to see good operating parameters on the R68A main engine. Chamber pressure on both SRMs continues to look good. Seeing good body rates on the vehicle. Now 40 seconds into flight. Vehicle is now passing Mach 1. Delta 4 is now supersonic. Now 50 seconds in. Main engine continuing to perform well. Continuing to see a good burn profile on both SRMs. And vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Main engine continuing to perform well. Continuing to see good SRM chamber pressure profiles. One minute, 15 seconds into flight. Approximately 15 seconds remaining till SRM burnout. SRM chamber pressure is tailing off. And we have burnout on both SRMs, standing by for separation. And we have separation of both solid rocket motors. Vehicle is now going to closed loop guidance. Body rate response looks good. Seeing minor correction in the roll attitude as expected. And the Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight. Second stage ACS system pressurization valve has been opened. RCS uh, pressure response looks good. Now two minutes, five seconds into flight. And vehicle is now passing through Mach 5. Delta IV is now 36 miles in altitude, 55 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,760 miles per hour. Two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. Chamber pressure on the R68A main engine continues to look good. Body rate responses also continue to look good. Two minutes, 45 seconds into flight. And upper stage lock system has begun the boost phase chill down sequence to begin thermal conditioning of the upper stage engine. Now less than one minute remaining in the first stage phase of flight. And upper stage fuel system has begun boost phase chill down. Now three minutes, 15 seconds into flight. Delta IV is now 65 miles in altitude, 148 miles downrange distance, traveling at 8,500 miles per hour. Now passing three minutes, 30 seconds into flight. Main engine continues to perform well. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rate responses on the Delta IV also look good. About 10 seconds remaining until booster throttle down. And booster's now throttling down to the minimum power level in preparation for BECO, standing by for BECO. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff, standing by for stage separation. We have good indication of stage separation. The upper stage engine nozzle extension is deploying. We have pre-start on the RL-10. Standing by for ignition. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10 engine. 
Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. Standing by for payload fairing jet, and we have payload fairing jettison. Delta mission control at T plus four and a half minutes. We've just heard Patrick Moore report the successful execution of the early events of today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. The Delta IV second stage and GPS-3 satellite are traveling in a northeasterly direction up the U.S. eastern seaboard. This mission is now in the first of two planned RL-10 engine burns. This burn will last approximately nine minutes. Wow.